Jonathan Elwood, blind drive pass down the lane, caught by Corbin, way up good! What a pass again by Tony Campbell! 11 points for Tyrone Corbin. Ah. Tony Campbell tonight has passed... Oh, what a waste of pepperoni, mushroom, and two kinds of cheese. Beach right wing caught by Campbell, no one comes fast to the baseline, caught by Mitchell, jump shot, sails over the rim, rebound inside Corbin, fall away, trip shot by Tyrone Corbin in the lane. Three million dollars in the lottery jackpot this week. Three million, friends and neighbors. And the winning numbers are 8, 22, 47, 19, 56, 23. Check your tickets those numbers by a heart. Repeat those numbers once again. We're rich. Eight. We're famous. Two. Three million split ten ways. Yeah. Where did I put my tick? Oh no. Uh, oh please tell me I didn't lose that ticket. Where did I put the ticket? Where is my ticket? Most people, I wasn't a big fan of cleanup operations. I figured it was something I'd get to later, or something somebody else would end up doing if I just steered clear of it long enough. I didn't understand that good housekeeping is an important part of every job. I thought it was kind of beside the point. I mean, the real job was to build a building. Housekeeping seemed like a waste of time. The truth is this. When you're on the job, you're also on a team. Your fellow workers are counting on you not just to do a good job, but to look out for their safety. Everybody on that site has the same responsibility. And when everyone accepts that responsibility, when you can count on tools being where you need them when you need them, when you can count on turning a corner and not falling into a trash heap, or walk across the site and not trip over used form lumber, gouge yourself on rusty nails, get an electric shock that makes your teeth burn and your fingertips smoke, or get caught in an explosion that might snuff a life, when you can count on things being done right, that's a real morale booster. You can feel it in the air. Everything works. Deadlines are being met. Accident-free days are piling up. And if everybody's not exactly whistling while they work, at least they're not frustrated or angry or apathetic. Housekeeping procedures are really just common sense. It requires a little planning and organization, and once work is underway, routine attention. When you take care of things little by little each day, the job is never very big or time consuming. It becomes part of the job, just as important as know-how and quality tools. To show you what I mean, let's look at five areas where housekeeping can really make a difference. Hazardous materials must be stored properly, covered, and secured. Containers need labels so you know what's in them and what hazard they may cause. Keep them out of the way from any vehicle traffic or major walkways, especially exits. If the materials are flammable, check to make sure no one's welding, cutting, or smoking nearby. Gas cylinders should be chained or tied to prevent falling. Check the labels and follow the manufacturer's storage information. Also, be sure to store oxygen cylinders away from flammable materials, oils, or other combustibles. Jacket. Ah! The key to 
a productive and safe job site is good planning. Too often you find a situation where shipments of material or equipment are unloaded in work areas and left there. Blocking roadways and walkways, at the head of a stairway or at the foot, blocking entrances and exits, covering up vents or warning signs. Whenever you store materials, make sure it's neatly stacked, stable, and doesn't block any pathways. If you can't distinguish an aisle, then you've got bad housekeeping. What about equipment and tool storage? It's a small matter to put things in the right place. If you do it up front, it'll make life easier when the time crunch comes and you're in a rush. You know where to look to find what you need. Part of good planning is being able to see what you're doing and where you're going. Good lighting is important. If a bulb burns out, make sure it's replaced immediately. Water. Slips and trips may sound innocent enough, but the fact is that a leading cause of disabling injuries in the construction trades, and slips and trips are directly related to poor housekeeping. If you have oil or grease on the floor, it's a potential slip. Metal scraps dumped on the floor, a potential trip. Well, what about an extension cord looped right across the middle of the workspace or a piece of plastic left on the floor? Slip and trip hazards have a way of accumulating behind your back. Here's how to avoid them. You need to have a place for everything. For example, stack used form lumber so it's out of the way rather than just stripping it off and letting it fall. Welding rods and oxyacetylene hoses should be up off the floor, coiled and stored properly. Electrical lines, conduit and hoses should be kept clear of traffic. Hoses and nozzles for air compressors should be coiled and hung near the compressor. So watch your step. If you see a potential hazard, get rid of it. Don't let bad housekeeping trip you up. I finally got the point. Housekeeping can prevent accidents. It doesn't take much effort to pull nails from form and scrap lumber and stack the wood out of harm's way. Make sure there's adequate protection from things like sharp edges of scrap metal and protruding ends of reinforcing steel. And always, always wear your personal protective equipment. Here. What happens when worse comes to worst? Let's say you need to put out a fire. There should be fire extinguishers at strategic points all over the site. They should be rated for the type of fire that could occur in that area. There should be a clear path to emergency equipment. Extinguishers, respirators where toxic fumes might be a problem, first aid kits, even telephones. The area should be free of debris and easily visible. Everybody on the site should know exactly where to find emergency equipment. With each passing second in an emergency, confusion and panic multiply, and the chances of disaster get greater and greater. Where did I put that ticket? <laughs> the guys will tar and feather me. <laughs> They'll run me out of town. They'll arrest me for felonious stupidity. And the unlawful harboring of junk. I'm doomed. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the phone? Hello? Did you see the TV? We won! Uh, we won! Uh, we won the phone! Uh, well, uh... You don't sound excited. Yeah, well, uh... You must still be I, uh, in shock. Boy, am I glad I took the ticket when I was at your oh. place last week. Oh. Man, I left it with a slob like you. We'd never collect. So I was lucky. I got a new bass boat and took a great vacation to Vegas. But I learned my lesson the hard way. Let me tell you the easy way. There should be a place for everything, and everything should be in its place. Flammables and other hazardous materials should be properly stored and labeled. Scrap, debris, tools, and materials should not be allowed to accumulate. No emergency procedures and where to find emergency equipment fast. Good housekeeping is a part of everybody's job. It's not up to someone else, and it's not for later. 
When it comes to housekeeping, you have to pool your resources. The job will go like clockwork if you plan for it and everyone works together. When housekeeping is done routinely and efficiently, everybody benefits. And that should make you feel like a million bucks.